Welcome to our video series where we break down and discuss blogs from the Aquint Talent blog. Together, we'll delve into a variety of topics, including how to find the right team members for your project, drawing out maximum creativity in yourself and your team, connecting with the right opportunities no matter what stage of the, your career you may be in, and much more. With the right talent on board, anything is possible. So let's get started. My name is Elizabeth Tenyes, and I am the content editorial strategist for Aquint. Uh, my name is Miles, and I am the SEO and SEM manager at Equent. Hi, guys. I'm Katie O'Donnell. I'm the social media manager here at Equent. Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for joining. Today, we are going to be talking about how to build UX team that thrives, designing roles with intention by Justin Dower. This is a great article. It's short because it's a part of a three-part series. So this is the first one where he really talks about developing a team that thrives. And the very first step is in the beginning, designing job roles with intention. You know, I, I think that this isn't just something that the UX world experiences, is that there are often job descriptions that include multiple things, right? That make up multiple different jobs. And they're like, well, we'd like you to grow into this area. So let's just add that to the job description. Or, you know, they kind of do some of this. And let's add that. And then pretty soon you get a job description that is huge and really encompasses multiple roles. I mean, have you guys seen that? Oh, yeah. I think working in social media, you kind of come across that a lot. And there's a meme out there somewhere that's like, your social media manager is not your graphic designer, is not your videographer, is not your photographer, is not your whatever. Um, because I think you get into these really creative roles where you should be able to wear a lot of hats and you need to have the a baseline of those skills. But the expectation to be able to manage all of those things, I think takes away from the primary responsibilities of like the, the true goal and true job at the end of the day. So yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. And finding a job is already stressful as it is. And so um, you know, if you're waiting for callbacks, if you're submitting your application to a thousand different places, you know, coming from human centered design, you should be able to look at an application and know that it fits your um, skills, qualifications, and kind of what you're passionate about. And so, you know, Justin goes into how this is really important if we're going to bring UX uh, design theories into the world of recruiting. Absolutely. And, you know, I love what he says that you should encourage career growth, but don't expect the impossible, right? Like we want people to be able to explore and grow. You know, we talked about Rose article where she says it, it's good. And you want growth in a position and you definitely do in, in lots of different career fields, but you don't want to give in to the desire to just make everything a part of their job, right? Because if you're looking at what your true north is, your job description is your true north. And then the other things are sort of ways for you to grow professionally, but they don't need to necessarily be in your job description. Yeah. I mean, it, it really can scare away like the right applicant too, right? You, you mm. just jam pack these applications with every perfect thing you would want out of an applicant. You're going to scare people away. And ultimately, I think you need to prioritize what you're putting in those applications or you're going to just probably get people finding themselves scared of applying to the job in the first place. Yeah. And so just to kind of outline how that looks in the article, but also just some really good key points for anybody out there listening, be proactive about communication and set the job seekers expectation from the start and be respectful of the individual reaching out, be thoughtful in your interview process, giving candidates the chance to get to know you and your organization organization ahead of time and take the time to build that connection. So those are three great points from Justin. Yep. And, you know, he talks a lot about having human centered design. And I think in UX, it's the perfect field that that needs to be in, right? If you're like, how can we make their user experience better? You need to carry those skills into what you're looking for in a job applicant as a hiring manager, as a leader. You should be looking for ways to humanize the process, make it you know, easier for everyone involved. Applying for a job should not be painful. In fact, you really want to attract the right top talent and you do that by being 
very human centered and intentional with how you do things. And that literally starts in the very beginning. All right. I think that's a good summary of the article. If you have any questions about human centered design, uh, this is it, this article does include a little quick rundown of you know points of value behind human centered design. So check those out. Uh, they're in the first part of it, and this is part of a three part series, Elizabeth. Or okay, yes, so, it yeah. is. This is the first part. The second part is out, and the third part will be out next week. So keep an eye out on the Aquent Talent blog for uh, Justin series. And if you have any questions, uh, reach out to us and our team. We'd love to answer them.